Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this episode of RentCast, we are going to talk about a very common but very important aspect of software engineering and the software development that is related to user interface and user experience. The topic is cockpit interface versus the navigational or guided design. In last 20 years, while working in various capacity of a complete end-to-end -end software development process, I have learned that if you would need an edge over your competitors, the user interface or the user experience could be your biggest plus point. Reason is that because underneath technology or the way you are trying to solve a problem could be quite similar among your competitors. However, the user interface is the place where you could do something far better against all of your competitor. Very first thing we need to understand what is a cockpit interface and in order to understand the cockpit interface, we have to take a look at the Boeing 747 cockpit. So looking at this cockpit interface, you must have got a very good idea that only a pilot or a person with the capability of being a pilot will be able, able to navigate this interface. I would like to make it clear that I am not talking about the Linux based cockpit interface for the operating system design, but I am specifically talking about the cockpit interface for the SaaS based product when we are creating the SaaS based services for our customers. Having the cockpit design for SaaS based applications or the SaaS based web applications is not really very useful. It's a big drawback for the consumers and that is what we are going to talk about in this video. The very first problem is that it discourage your targeted user to immediate think that they will have to do a lot. Just, just looking at your cockpit interface, they immediate get a sense that this is not an easy task to perform. They will have to do a lot in order to get their job done. That's a very big problem because you have already stopped them to feel good that you are going to solve the problem with something very easy versus now they know that they will have to do a lot in order to get by their problem. Second problem is even bigger because looking at the interface like that, they can get an idea that you need a certain threshold in order to use this interface. So it has a preconceived notion that only a person with certain kind of ability or knowledge should be able to do it. It means it is not built for everyone. Third and last very important aspect is the visible complexity. Visible complexity means that as soon as a user seen a complex interface, first, they are discouraged. Second, they have a preconceived notion. Third, it, it values your application down even lower. Nobody would like to pay premium where they already see a complexity to use it. So after we understood that most common problems of having such interface, now let's understand what is the definition of a best user interface or the best user experience. Most of the designers, they will have their own opinion, but I will try to put together in three simple steps. First, it must be simple, just simple enough that anyone, wider range of users, that anyone and everyone should feel comfortable and welcomed to use your interface. Simple. Second, it must be intuitive. As a user is navigating the 
user interface, they should be able to build a step-by-step -step direction in their mind that how they are going to navigate your interface. It is very important for you to build the intuitive design. And that is only can be done if you can get an idea of the wider range of your audience, their need, and figure it out in your mind that how a novice to the export is going to play with your user interface or going to interact with your user interface. So you have to add the intuitive design in your interface. Last but not least is the most important component, which most of the designer totally miss it. And that is the self-serving component. The user interface or the user experience should be self-serving. If there is an option, user should be able to quickly figure it out why it is there without even changing the context. So self-serving should be two level. First, it's guiding what needs to be done, why a certain component is there. And in an event of failure or a problem, it should be able to serve the user that how they could overcome it. It means if they met the problem, they should not get even more frustrated versus they should be welcomed to find a solution by doing certain tasks with regard to your application. There could be several things you could do to make that experience better. So combining the simplicity, intuitiveness, and self-serving in your user design you are going to build the best user interface for your software. And remember, the very first thing, people pay for simplicity. The complexity can be hidden inside the system, but user should not be exposed to that. So before we go, let's summarize that what are the advantages of building an intuitive and the guided user interface for your software. The intuitive and guided interface immediate gives a notion to your user that first, they don't really need to do a lot. Second, they can learn while using your software and they can progress without any or very less problems or hassle as they progress with their experience. If you have self-serving built into, it will give the confidence to the user that they can make mistake, but they will able to overcome it. If you do not have self-serving, then mistakes will be there, but user is going to lose their confidence very quickly. Everybody does mistake, but a self-serving plus intuitive interface helps them to even keep making, making mistakes. They can still navigate. They can still progress. Very important aspect. And third, when people think something is simple, they can pay premium for it. And that's a very good aspect when you are building a commercial software where you are looking to gain even more advantage over your comp competition. Because user interface is something where you can do far better than your competitors. And last but not least, that advantage is for the developer. If you build the simple, intuitive, and self-serving design, you can add so many points in your software to collect the user experience back to you. So you could understand that where the problems are, where most of the user is stuck, where are the issues where user have to navigate even more deeper to use your software and use that data to make sure that you are improving the user experience by adding more code to it while keeping the design simple and intuitive. The information what I have shared with you took several years for me to learn and apply into the practice. It is very important. I hope this information is going to help you, assist you to build better software for your users by applying the simple, intuitive and self-serving user interface. That's all I have to share in this episode of Rampcast. Appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, 
Thank you so much.